Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, we have some very exciting news. I will be officially starting CORE. Yay! I am so excited. I am so terrified and nervous, but I am definitely ready, but not. Ugh. For those that are new here, my name is Andrea and I am a nursing student doing the accelerated BSN program at West Coast University. It's so ugly! <laughs> I can't get over how ugly it is. Hello people, it is Wednesday, March 29th. Um, today is officially the last day of this term. Grades will be finalized by midnight tonight, um, but they're already visible on Canvas. I took my pathophysiology final this weekend and I got a 99%. So if you want to know how I did that, I basically did everything that I did for my midterm and I have a video on that. I pretty much did the exact same thing for the final. I will link it down below if you want to go watch it. Anyway, I start CORE this Monday on April 3rd. I pretty much have the rest of the week to enjoy my life and breathe a little bit before CORE starts. But keep in mind, I've said this before, in nursing school, if you are not ahead, you are behind. So, so I am going to be a smart cookie and take some of that free time to preview the materials. Um, especially because this is going to be the first term that I am in CORE. Um, so I don't really know what to expect. You guys will be finding out with me. Um, the best thing that I can do right now is to preview the material, take a look at the syllabus, um, and try to get ahead of the reading. Um, so throughout the last week um, in preparation for the upcoming term, I have received my uniform, which makes me feel so official, by the way. I'm like super geeking out about it. I also picked up my ATI textbooks and my duffel bag, which I will be showing you throughout this video. Guys, my uniform came. I'm so excited to open it. This like long sleeve collared button up. It's so ugly. It also came with the West Coast blazer and everyone always talks about how hideous this thing is. It's so ugly. It's even uglier than the long sleeve. Um, here it is. <laughs> what is this? This is so ugly. <laughs> And we're not allowed to wear hoodies or jackets over our uniforms. We are only allowed to wear this hideous bombardist thing. It doesn't even feel soft and it's so thin. And hospitals are so cold and the school is so cold. The material is like one of those thick and rough materials. So it's not comfortable at all. And it's so ugly. <laughs> I can't get over how ugly it is. West Coast, do better. Anyway, we also get a long sleeve. I got everything in a small. These are the pants. And these are the scrub tops. They're kind of cute, I like them. I'm gonna go try them on. This is how the uniform looks like. <laughs> I like it. It's kind of cute. I'll show you the shoes that I bought. The shoes did not come with the tuition. We had to like purchase that on our own, but I'm really happy with the brand that I got. They had to be like fully white, including the soles, and they had to be leather completely or fake leather. Um, as long as they have like no air holes in them uh, and they have to be like completely waterproof. This is not that bad. Like, I like this. This is super cute. What is this? Nobody wears this. 
And like, why a blazer on top of scrubs? Like, who thought of this? This was all part of the like uniform package. So here goes like $50 that I will never get back because they did not give us the option to not purchase this. So that's great. Also, another thing that I paid for that um, will never see the light of day outside my closet because I will not be wearing it. But I'll put it on for you guys. So this is what the collared button up looks like. It's like not the ugliest thing, but it's still pretty ugly. Also, don't come for me for calling these hideous and ugly because I paid for them so I can call them whatever I want to. It's not even comfortable too. Like the material is like linen and rough and it's kind of itchy on the skin. Yeah, kind of mad that I paid for this is what the small thermal looks like it's kind of big i wish it was like a little bit more fitted i got it in a small this thermal costs like 12 to 15 dollars on their website not worth it by the way i know that i'm gonna be living in these thermals i'm not wearing that hideous blazer so i'm gonna have to like order a pack of blue thermals from amazon this is what it looks like uh with the top on that was everything that came with the tuition um uniform package right it only comes with two sets of scrubs i know i'm gonna need more than two because i am not trying to do laundry every two days so i did order like another four more so that i have a total of six uniforms just in case i forget to do laundry one day and i'm not like having to wear stinky old clothes and i also plan on keeping one extra pair in my car or in my uh, clinical bag just in case you know I get dirty while I'm on a shift See? Oh. So yeah, I really recommend that you guys do the same and purchase extra ones because I don't I really don't think two is enough So these are the shoes that I got they are from Brooks This is the addiction walker 2 with max support I got them on Amazon and a lot of like the TikTok nurses um, talk about them and like them. So I thought, why not give them a try? Uh, they're pretty comfortable. I like them. I did switch out the insoles. I got like arch support. I'll leave a link um, for these two items in my description as well. So this is what the shoe looks like. It's non-skid. It's got like a really nice clean look to it, you know, because you want to be cute. Like if this is like the one thing that makes you different from everyone else since everyone's in uniform, like might as well be a little cute to your liking. This is the front. See how there's no air holes. It's all leather. And this is the other side and the back. These are the original insoles. They're like memory foam-ish, but I think that I like my arch support better. Also, your socks apparently have to be white um, to match the shoes. And if apparently if you get caught with like black socks or you wear your hoodie with your uniform instead of the blazer, or you don't wear a navy blue thermal underneath, you get docked points for all of those. So this is the whole look. Oh, you can't even see my shoes. Hold on. All right. Ta-da! I, I'm not mad at it. No, 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 no. Okay, good morning. I am getting ready to go pick up my duffel bag. Spookies. My, my friend and I are gonna... Okay, no, no. 
my friend and I are gonna go carpool. So I'm gonna pick her up first since she's on the way. She lives like literally three freeway exits for me. It is 8.15 and our pickup time slot is 9.30. So I completely missed my face. So I am just gonna do my skincare routine and get going. I am back from picking up the supplies. I've sort of just like organized them right here, but we will go through them together. So they gave us a box. I'm sure these are the ATI books. And then they gave us um, a duffel bag and then it just says West Coast um, University on there. These books, there's two rows. Those are all the books just for this term. Um, yeah. Excuse me, spooks, go away. Spookies. You want your mouse? Here, come get your mouse. On top of the box, we get like a learning strategies test guide. Four, five, six, seven. nine ATI books but I wanted to show you how many we got to take home I think I'm just gonna keep them in this box alrighty just like that all right now for the exciting part it is the duffel bag honestly the quality is kind of like rinky dinky but whatever i heard that um the straps on these are really weak and because the quality is kind of cheap to be honest uh if you put like anything heavy on them they will rip uh, there's even a warning email to um not put these ati books in the duffel bag because the bag will rip So we get um, just PPE, a GI tube, stethoscope. Ooh, cool. It's like a, a skin stimulator for injections. And then these are IV drips and clamps and tubes and things like that. So that was in the first bag and then there's a little black pouch i think these are the bp cups oh these are syringes these are dressing pads this is a catheter kit this is a basic first aid kit so it comes with like gauze wrap surgical scissors sterile cotton pads and things like that. And then lastly, we have, what is this? A hydrogel coated latex Foley tray. I guess this is like for draining a catheter. I'm pretty sure, but we'll find out later. At the bottom of the bag is the strap um i'm really glad there is a strap because i don't know how we were gonna walk around with just it oh actually there's something else in here but with it like this you know iodine chloride that's it nothing else so i'm gonna just put everything back the way i saw it but that's pretty much all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed that tidbit <laughs> of me geeking out about all the materials that I received. In addition to the duffel bag and the uniforms, I have also prepared my car and personal items 
for um, core. So let me show you what I have. This is going to be my clinical bag. These are things that I know I'm gonna find helpful for myself. So I've just like packed it ahead of time. This is my stethoscope, which my parents gifted me like two years ago. Um, I know that West Coast gives you your own black stethoscope, um, but because, you know, this is better quality and it has sentimental value to me, I will be using this. Light pen, um, post-its, pens, tape, scissors, and then my beautiful, beautiful stethoscope. There might be a chance that I will be moving some of these stuff um, from this pink bag onto the black duffel bag. It just depends on um, the situation. I also just have a binder for notes with just random blank paper. I have my own BP cuffs. By the way, you do not need to purchase these two. I just had them prior. So this one is a foldable clipboard with a bunch of cheat sheets. I'm guessing that the pink bag will be the bag that I take to the actual clinical site and the duffel bag will be like for school lab stimulations and that sort of thing. Here um, is my pencil case. It's humongous, I know, but this exact pencil case has been with me since my community college days and in it I have everything. So I have God knows how many freaking pencils. <laughs> All different colored pens, um, different colored uh, dry erase markers, different brands too, and more dry erase markers and highlighters and um, markers. Um, I don't know if it belongs here, but it's just going to stay here for now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up just moving it into um, the box that I will keep in my car for my school supplies, which I will show you later because it just came in the mail today. And then I have a toiletry bag. In it I have medication, um, lip balm, Tums, because um, you never know, you know. I have these hair ties. They're really thick. They're really good. Um, hairband um, and then I have a bunch of black little ha um, hair ties as well. I have a Tide pen. I also have some feminine products. Lotion. This is a must. My hands get really dry and cracked when I use a lot of hand sanitizer, especially the ones at the hospital. They are so strong. Finally, I am going to keep a pair of uniforms in here as well. So this just came in the mail, so we're going to go ahead and set it up. It is the um, box that I was talking about a couple of days ago. Just a big box that's gonna go in the trunk or the back seat. We'll see. I'm probably gonna keep all of my textbooks. I don't want to risk like um, being penalized for accidentally forgetting it at home, so best to just leave it in my car and take it out as needed. So here's what that looks like: my books, the duffel bag, and the extra pair of. Um, scrubs so that is all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this big haul of things and supplies that i received to start core the next time i will see you guys i will be in school as a nursing core student that's very exciting hopefully you're looking as forward to it as i am um but anyway i will see you guys next time have a good one bye